and good morning to you. Welcome along to my channel. Bit of scrapping, bit of general chit chat and a look around. It's a bad weather day today, as you could probably tell. It's chucking it down with rain, started early morning and is not supposed to finish until midnight tonight. And it's pretty windy too. So we'll just be doing some stuff in the shed today, I think. You can't even see out the window. So I'm, I'm just moving a few things around. I've got a bigger tub to put my brass in. And I'm just going to have a general sort out. I'll show you the mess I've got. So there's my, my training bench. I have to make do with what I've got. I've actually had to put a light on it so dark in here. So I've still got this circuit um, a fuse box kind of thing. But I might be able to use some of these fuses when the power goes into my shed. So I'm kind of putting that off for a little while. Well, I've been putting it off for a long while, to be fair. <laughs> and I've got some um, modems there. I've got boxes and bits of stuff. But these things here, I've been getting through these slowly. And I've got a bin full of junk and rubbish. I've got some fuchsia plants which are grown from seeds, lovely. Um, and there's the bench, it's got bird food on it. I've got more bird food down here. I've got cables up on the on the door. I've got copper ball. And just, it's just a mess. So um, <laughs> all this has got to be cleared out so the shed can be moved in a couple of weeks. So it's going to be a huge amount of fun. And I don't know if you can see, there's my new got compacted driveway, and that's where the shed's going. Little shed up this end, and then the big area there is for my main shed. So that's all the all the groundworks is done. It's going to be, I think, the cement's going down next week. But as you can see, it's a pretty grim day. Anyway. I'll find something we can scrap and uh, have a bit of a clear up first, find something we can scrap and then we'll get on with that. So I'll catch you in a bit. Well, we're back in the shed and um, what did I get done? Not a lot. I kind of cleared a space on the bench so that helps and I condensed two buckets of brass into one. We can see here. Lovely brass. There's 12 kilos in there and I'm making another little tub just here which is kind of half full. So there'll be another two and a half kilos in there probably. Eventually that'll end up in there. But I weigh it out into exact amounts, exact kilos and it'll only be an exact number of kilos that go in there. So when I take it to the yard, I know what I've got. So what am I going to do? Well, let's just adjust this. It's still, <laughs> still loads of stuff on it. But um, yeah, we've got a bit of space, so we can work with that. And uh, I've got a couple of modems there. So that'll give me, we'll get them apart, and that'll give me a couple of boards for this evening, which I can take apart while I'm sat in front of the telly box. I have to apologise today because the light outside is shocking. So um, I have to kind of make do with what I've got, which is not great. But it has been raining all day. Which isn't so bad, but it's really windy as well. So that um, combined is not the best combination for living up here. But it's that time of year and my hands are really cold as well. We've got a nice little board in there and that's going to come out really easy. That's good. Let's get that out of there. That's just held in with a plastic clip. So, let's 
break that off. That would break, wouldn't it? You don't want to come off there. Maybe he's stuck. He's stuck on there. Well, we'll chuck that in with my boards. That tiny little bit. That's just plastic. And that's just plastic. So, what do we got? Nice little... We'll just whip that off there if we can. Let's see what's under it. Yeah, we've got a little... Little rubbish chip. Is that plastic? That's plastic on there. Boo! Yeah. Let's see. Little chip there. It's not much of one. We've got a couple of gold contacts on there. And a few MLCCs. Some nice ones over here. And we've got a whole load of gold pins in there. And in there. So that's a nice easy one. I'll take that apart this evening. Put that cable there. God, I'm so cold. I'm actually shivering here. Bear with me, people. And hopefully this one will be the same. A couple of little screws. See in there. Gold pins again in there. And if you've never taken apart modems before, like I'm sure most of you have, you get a lot of gold pins in them. So if you're collecting the gold pins, they're great. Oh, there we go. I think there's probably another couple of screws there. But, um, it's easy just to rip them apart sometimes. Got little plastic clips, we'll bend them back. And that should. Another one there. There we go. And what have we got? There's even less on this one. Take that out of there. So yeah, we've got gold plated pins. Actually those ones don't look like they're gold plated. But these ones definitely are. And these will be... I can quite see in there. Those ones are gold plated as well. And... A few nice MLCCs on there. But not a lot else. Oh, it's a gold crystal oscillator thing there. I wonder if there's one on this one. <laughs> Can't see one at first glance. I didn't look on the back though, there might be one under there. Let's have a look. some small MLCCs under there. Very small ones on the other side of that chip. Um, yeah, there's not a lot on either of them, but again, that's what I tend to do is I'll take something apart, then I'll take it in the house in the evening. If I'm sitting watching the TV, I'll just take them apart, take anything useful off there. Which is a good use of my time, especially as the winter's coming along. But once the shed's up, God, it's going to be so much easier. Anyway, that's it for today, I think. A couple of nice little boards just to keep me busy. And modems, if you get them and you want some nice gold pins, collect them up and... Uh, Stockpile them and then decide what you'll do with them later like I do. And always a little bit at the end to say 
Let's get, try and get some light. That's better. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for all the comments and the likes. It really helps and keeps me busy looking at the comments, reading them. And uh, as always, keep scrapping. <laughs>